Filo tarts are versatile and easy to make your own style. This one is topped with gorgeous beetroot and goat's cheese. For this recipe I'm using beetroot but you could use other tasty toppings like zucchini and mozzarella, sliced mushrooms or spinach and peas. Trim and peel the beetroot then thinly slice using a mandolin. By slicing the beetroot thinly it'll cook much faster and that's helpful on a busy weeknight. To prepare for cooking, arrange the sliced beetroot in a baking dish lined with baking paper. Drizzle with honey then sprinkle thyme leaves over the beetroot and season with salt and pepper. Now cover with foil and bake for 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. While the beetroot is cooking, heat some olive oil in a frying pan. Add the red onions about three tablespoons of balsamic and that's going to make these onions beautiful and sweet. Cook those for 20 minutes, stir occasionally until they're soft. Then set aside to cool. To make the phyllo pastry tart, I've got phyllo pastry here. Just keep it covered with a damp towel so it doesn't dry out. Simply brush the phyllo sheets with melted butter. Once you've buttered and layered the eight sheets of phyllo, transfer it to the pan. and just fold in the ends. Prick the base well with a fork. This stops the pastry from rising too much. Now into the oven and bake for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. To finish the tart, spread the onion mixture over the pastry. Now top with the beautifully roasted beetroot. Crumble over the goat's cheese and the chopped hazelnuts then put back into the oven and bake for another 20 minutes or until golden. And there you have it, delicious beetroot and goat's cheese phyllo tart. Now, just slice and serve. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.